Hey everyone, Tim here from Snap Attack. Let's dig into this week's Threat Snapshot. Today we're going to be discussing Protected Process Lite, or PPL. This is a Windows defense mechanism that was added back in Windows 8, and it was really there to bring some of the kernel level protections to user land. Um, said a little bit more plainly, uh, this is a service that's used by antivirus, EDRs, and other defensive tools on Windows where they want to harden their executable, and PPL or Protected Process Lite prevents you from doing things like attaching a debugger to it or killing the process or really anything, even if you're an administrator or system on the machine. So this was a really great defense in theory. Um, in practice and implementation, there are some weaknesses that um, have been abused for a little while from hackers. And as part of this July patch, uh, Microsoft finally closed one of those issues here. So thought it would be good today to discuss PPL dump and some of the similar tools and really how they work. So um, this blog post here by IT man, uh, Clemente Labro, I'll post that in the channel below, but um, definitely a good read and talking through a little bit of the history of PPL dump, um, how it works, what this patch actually does. Um, you can check that out. And then you have his GitHub repository here where PPL dump has been active and maintained. Um, you'll see here that uh, this is confirmed that as of the latest Windows patch, this July 2022 update, um, this user land exploit no longer works. Uh, but we still think it's valuable to show because, again, not everybody patches systems right away. Um, there's also a lot of similar tools that this uh, attack has spawned. So um, this one here, this uh, RIPPL, um, again, lots of different options here, not just dumping, but you can... Again, you can kill the process, you can inject code into it, um, lots of other cool things here. There's also this PPL killer that's been, again, you can see here around for several years. All right, so let's actually dive into Snap Attack and see what PPL dump looks like. Uh, so we've got an attack session here. Um, this is a Windows 10 host. We'll open this up full screen and we've got um, two different PowerShells running. You can see that they're running as an administrator. Um, up here at top first, we're going to run uh, process dump or proc dump, um, the built-in sy uh, system internals utility. And you can see here that this is um, giving us an access denied. So LSAS is running as a protected process light, and uh, that's actually working as intended. Uh, we can see here that PPL dump actually does work and dump the process. And we can also see quite a bit of activity here on this host. So. Um, we'll take a little look, but there's definitely lots of detection opportunities here. If we pivot over to our process graph, uh, we can see we have our administrator PowerShell here. We can see process dump and we can see that um, failing. We can also see PPL dump executing and we can see that spawning the services.exe, um, which again is an interesting indicator based on this technique. Um, so again, pivoting back to detection and uh, defensive opportunities, um, definitely mitigations, uh, patching your systems, especially since this is uh, patched in the latest Microsoft release. Um, different opportunities for detection. So um, if you have built-in Windows security logs that you're forwarding, um, you can look at 4656. Um, this one is here looking for um, an access code for processes like LSAS. Again, you could you know, target specific processes that you think an um, attacker is going to read or dump. Um, this one would need a little bit of tweaking. It is a little bit noisier, but um, again, just based on log source availability, this is a strategy you could employ. Um, there's also good uh, techniques around LSAS memory dumping. Um, this is again, relying on Windows Sysmon, again, looking for uh, you know, different activity from the command line for tools. Um, you can see this is obviously catching um, lots of different variations from Atomic Red and other attack tools. Um, this one is part of the uh, Sigma community. And we've also got a couple of analytics available for subscribers around uh, PPL dumping activity. Again, specifically around that loaded DLL as well as the services.exe that gets spawned um, in, as part of that attack. So both of those uh, analytics are available to subscribers as well as lots of other features in our platform. You can simulate attacks, you can uh, one-click deploy these analytics to your eSIM or EDR of choice. You can uh, gain valuable reporting and insights into how your defensive posture is and analytic coverage and all that and more. So hope you enjoyed today's Threat Snapshot. This is a weekly series. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.